regardless, and you believe it too, I'm preaching to the choir. Every child, regardless of where they live, what their family income is, what the race or the religious creed might be, every one of the children born in this day have a constitutional right. It's not a gift. It's not something that we want to do because we're nice. It's a constitutional right that they have to a free, public, sound, basic education. That's defined us as a people. That goal, from my perspective, and I would urge you for it to be from your perspective, is the single most important fundamental responsibility. It's core to who we are as a people and what it is that state government does. I'll be very direct with you. No governor in the history of North Carolina has ever walked away from that core responsibility for public education that succeed for every child. And you're looking at one governor who refuses to be the first to set North Carolina's public school system backwards. We need your help. Well, if we are 46th in the nation and our AP scores are above the national average, if our SAT scores are at the national average, if our NAEP scores, either one is right at the national average and one is slightly below it, uh, put us right there. If our graduation rate uh, continues to improve, our dropout rate is uh, better than it has been for several decades, our language needs to be a language that points that out and then what else do we need to do because someone has moved the bar. Dale, from a business perspective, what do you see that we need to do? I, I think, Bill, and we had, in our conversation this morning after the, the 46th in the nation and spending came about was uh, a little bit shocking to me, but uh, on the other hand, my question was, well, where do we rank achievement-wise? And in Bill's response, so far I think I counted four different measurements, or five, uh, there is no single measurement, or there doesn't appear to be a single measurement that we can measure ourselves against, against the, uh, the other states. I don't really know where we rank. I agree with Bill. I think, and Leslie, I think we're, we're way above where we are in spending, which means to me that we're pretty productive in business. We look at that from the, the standpoint of how productive can we be. If what we're spending is producing better results, it seems to me that we're doing a good job. We've got to improve that. We've got to tweak it. Just like in my business, we operate 500 restaurants. All 500 of them I wish were perfect, but they certainly aren't. So we have to work on them day in and day out. Uh, and, and we know where we want to go because we know what our goals are and we know what we're measured against. I think it's because there is skepticism about the ability of the government to um, provide high quality services including education. That is the reason that it is important to have this discussion. And I think that when you focus on the collective benefit and the need for every child to have access to this education that prepares them to help us meet the challenges of the future, that leads you to a conclusion that you must have a system. But if you think about that the only goal is for if you think of it as me, as a parent, as a consumer, just trying to look after my child, then it doesn't matter if you have a system. It just matters if I can get my child into the place that will be good for her or him. I love the governor's comment about the power of doing things now for later. This is exponential growth to mathematicians. And although she probably didn't intend it, I don't know if she's a math person, Mathematicians in the audience know that exponential growth in the moment feels linear. Right? When you look at the graph of an exponential function up close, you don't see the giant bend. It's a reminder that what we do now 
is not just going to have a little effect on the future, but it has deep and profound effect moving forward. Bigger. What we're about, and the bill said this before, is how do we align the work that we're doing? Just as you find, and I think I've heard this a little bit today, there's so many groups working in North Carolina. There's so many companies working. Can they learn from one another? Can they share things? Can they avoid one another's mistakes? And are there ways that they can collaborate? If I can see it, then I can do it. If I just believe it, there's nothing to Oh